Nah, nah, nah. You know, you know, so maybe I should go over the glories of grave of good succulent grave. Stop it. Yeah. Get out of my head, huh? <laughs> but with gravy, we can ingest the gravy. A succulent it's... Chinese meal? I was just hey. having a succulent Chinese meal. For I having like a meal? Good, I would like an entire goblet of gravy. Is there anything wrong with gravy? How does it... Remember, it's a flavor. Enhancer enhances everything. It's it one is. of the worst words right off the bat. <laughs> Man jam? Alas. Anyways, yeah. uh, greetings to all in chat. I see uh, Grimace, Night Owl, uh, and there's someone else in there. Zeus. Uh, evening to you lot. Welcome to another wonderful stream of Newt showing off. Damaturge, the Slavic Blood Wizards. I just dropped a hundred bones on Frostpunk, by the way, just so I can do the, uh, the beta. Damn. Yeah. Neat. Ooh, you remember when betas used to be game, free? Huh? You remember when betas used to be free? I, I remember when I played Subcom for free. They had a beta where they paid you, but I couldn't get to Warsaw. I mean, fair. I wouldn't want to go to Warsaw either. I would have been fine going to Warsaw. It's just the whole many hundreds of dollars, if not thousands, uh, to, to make like 50 bucks a day. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's a shipping vessel which could have, you know, hidden myself paid your way. Yeah. Enough, enough coal shoveling. Enough coal shoveling. The hustle and bustle of the crowd and... Karakoski Predemiski, the whistle of the locomotives blowing loudly. Don't even bother with the loading screens. They're meant, they bait you as soon as you, you're like, oh, I have time to read this, it ends. Uh. Exactly. It's the anticipation of a foregone conclusion. Oh, wait, this is the House of Doors. So sorry. Ding, 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 ding. I should have done House of Many Doors, but I was not in the mood for it the other day. What about the House of Few Doors? Uh, what, like my house? Uh... The one's three doors down. I mean, I've played enough roguelikes to know that kicking in doors is the best way to open a door. Because then there is no door. Don't stand around, keep walking. I can't be bothered to walk three doors down, because I'm a loser. Because I'm a loser. Baby, if only Sooner I could or read. Later, you know I'll be dead. If only I could read. I haven't seen any paper boys shouting the news. No news is good news. I guess. Also, these streets are surprisingly clean. I have got shit all over them. Yeah, but there's no like rubble like here there's some rubble and trash in the back you see what i see that i should maybe be keeping an eye out for a speakeasy or whatever it's called yeah look at those red uh sparkles eh, yeah, yeah also the one to your left yeah low... but i yep. was just uh showing you the sparkles yeah so i should keep it... an eye out for those it might make it easier to find shit uh Sparkle motion. Yeah. Evening, Meepniks. And no work from home option. There was a lot of people complaining about that. One guy just, uh, one guy literally did, uh, was so upset about not getting selected for the beta that he actually did the, uh, EU Freedom of Information thing to, ha to make them manually delete all the information they have on him as being a member of their Discord. Uh. So... You know, I can understand not wanting uh, far enough, far away people to be part of the beta because that's that is how games get stolen. No, they said if you could make it there and you were selected, you could do it. Uh, it has nothing yeah, to do with like, far away people. Uh, 
Like, like I, I could see, like, why they didn't want to allow... Oh, to okay, yeah, letting the data out of the building, you mean. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, that... Anyway, dear friends and companions of Voyages to Distant Lands, it is my pleasure to invite you to a party where the scent of incense will mingle with the aroma of turmeric and cardamom. Sumptuous bedding under silk canopies and the beauty of exotic dancers await you. You will have the opportunity to taste forbidden delights during the evening. Come, as usual, to the gates of Sesame. To have them open before you, simply say the password, Kubla Khan. Kubla Khan. Kubla I got, Khan. holy crap, I got a quest uh, from that. Oriental party at the town. I'm just gonna start randomly saying Kubla Khan to everyone. Uh. Mm -hmm. It's the thing to do. A warm book with tear marks on the cover. It's a good thing geometry exists, an ideal that bitter words can't destroy. Although his parents are clipping his wings, he, believe he, he believes he will be a great mathematician one day and find his safe haven among perfect rhombuses, soothing circles, and friendly trapezoids. Uh, hmm. But I wonder who. At least, there's, at least there's puddles here you can walk through. Yeah, it's quick, it's easy, it's free. Yeah. Oh, I, at the farm the other day when I was helping with the greenhouse, I dropped that line on the... Uh, on my boss when I had to walk through a puddle and my shoes got soaked and they were just like, no, they just had this face, their, their face just kind of, it just like this level of distraught and we, sad. Yeah, we will always remember the saga of whatever that woman's name was on her wet feet. Yep. Soggy Saga. Yes, okay. Oh my, how did we not come up with Soggy Saga in the, in the stream? It might have been too easy. Guys. Good evening there, Froak. Frozen hawk hunts. Soggy saga. Yeah. That's why they pay me the big bucks. Oh, I just realized I paid. I uh, got the uh, what you call it deluxe version of Alan Wake, which means I got free DLCs coming uh, at some point. Yeah. Uh. The bigot's diary. I turn now to a description from the rest of my family. My nephew Count Orgolaski lost his father at a young age. This event weighed on the rest of his life. I pushed him slowly towards the abyss of mortal corruption. Ever Let me guess, he became a Jew. From a sweet little boy whose angelic face could do no wrong into an impudent young man, the apartment at 15 Erwanska Street has turned into a tabernacle near which the Christians should, should keep turn their face away with contempt. Walls that were once the pride of the family of our family now bear witness to hideous deeds, hosting the worst company a young man can surround himself with. Concerned neighbors have more than once brought me information that makes my hair stand at end. It is a rumor that my nephew has let himself be tempted by western fads and partakes in idea. Huh, okay, so I can't get a bead on what he's being a bigot about, but we're gonna find out, huh? A handwritten card with a worn edge. It must have fallen as a result of repeated turning. According to the author, the apartment at 15... Oh! There's an illegal party there! And, yeah, I, feel also, like, and I feel like I know the password to it. Uh, also, didn't he say tabernacle? Yeah. Yeah, isn't that French? Uh, no, it's an... It's, uh, yes, it's, an, it's a French loan word, but there's an English... Well, I'm just mm. wondering if it's specifically um, it's it's a French party with the harlots and the you know their their dresses. No, it's a religious go, thing. Go Let, let's find out what a tabernacle is. I forget to their lower knees. Can you imagine that the calf is bared? How dare they? I think How it's where, is, isn't it where they store the um the balls? Yeah, yeah, they store the balls in the tabernacle. Uh... I mean, doesn't everybody? Tabernacle. Yep, locks, lock box where. Okay, I guess he had balls. Uh. Oh, I, I guess mean... I guess it. Okay, so I guess it depends on what part of the body of Christ you think you're eating when you're getting the Eucharist. Because if you think that you're eating the balls, then yes, the balls are indeed stored in the tabernacle. I stand corrected. Uh. I'm kind of confused where you're finding your definition of tabernacle. Of uh, the tabernacle is a box where the Eucharist is stored in a Catholic church. Uh. Okay, because what I'm seeing is a tent said to contain the Ark of the Covenant later on became 
uh, the Jewish version of the uh, the Jewish analogy to the Christian church. Weird. Either way, he said it's where good Christians uh, should turn away, so I'm guessing he's talking about the Christian tabernacle. Could be. It just makes sense. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, we're going to 15-something or other. Who's it? So. Is time sensitive or something? Oh, availability. This quest is limited. That's good to know. I'm guessing if you exit this chapter, they go away. Eh. Unless there is actually like a timeline which you have to follow. Uh, that would make no fucking sense at all. Why not? Because that would l completely limit what you're able to do. You'd have to like skip main quests to have time to do side quests. So. Well, I mean, like side quests might only have like be available for like two days after you get them. Yeah, I don't even know if there's actually a proper time day oh, cycle thing. Alright, let's go find some uh, opium and hookers. Uh. Hell yeah, brother. As is right. As is honor and tradition. I'll take the lot. <laughs> Moldy tobacco. Or you will not take the lot. I have 18... I have 119 other customers on this train. Uh... But can I say the thing? I want to get in the body house. I... Oh, do I gotta find more clues? Uh... Yes, you do. A clue, a clue. Where's your precious science now? I'm finding whores with the devil, huh? No, my science. But was it good science? Or was it just science science? Biology, mostly. Okay. Come evening, take the package to the apartment 15 Orionska Street and deliver it directly to the butler's hands and no one else's. Do not open on pain of punishment. Involved. The gray paper smells of fear and vigilance. The cord around the package was tied by skillful hands, which carried a faint pulse of stress. What if this time the package falls into the wrong hands? Huh? Who's to say with the wrong hands? That was actually? a misplaced comma. It should have been what if comma, this time, comma. A wealthy businessman, Count Orkowski, is holding a party in the evening with the theme of A Tale of a Thousand and One Nights in his apartment on 15 Irivanska Irivon Street, I think. Huh? The evening's attractions will include an opportunity to partake in opium. Huh? I wonder if it'll actually let me. And he's actually excited about that. Huh? To get in the party, all you have to do is give the password Kublai Cole. Oh, in the afternoon, okay. But it's night time. Is that the same password as before? Kublai Khan, yeah. Oh, okay, you, you just pronounced it a little different. Did I, just... Did I say Kublai Khan? Maybe. It just seemed a little different to me, and I was... I'd be laughing if there was a different password for every guest. Don't scare me. Viewpoint. What am I, Altair? Yeah, 
Deo. Eh, sure, why not? South Shorter Schmickle. It's never too early for opium. A new opium light. Uh. I... I have my doubts on that. Just, just throwing that out there. That, that, yeah. that, uh, for, for legal reasons, that was a joke. Uh, no, I, I am, uh, personally, I, I've met too many people who've been hit too hard by the drug thing, so. Oh, yeah. So have I. Uh, lessons at and Andreskowitz has moved to six. Navorso Courier. Classifieds. I'll buy the latest model of the four persons slightly used. Uh, are they talking about a car? I think. It... Maybe. If I, if I had to guess, model of the four person, uh, like a four person, a four seater car, maybe. Uh, submits bid by the eighth of the month. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Dr. Stepan's. Damarowski has returned from abroad. Diseases of the larynx, throat, nose, and ears. Five Zalata Street. Uh, drawing lessons. The painter Konstanty Andruskowitz uh, will take students for lessons. The topics landscapes of Warsaw. Ask it. Address blurred. What a great newspaper. It's, uh, it's homemade. He's fine. It's a good newspaper. It, uh, it, it tells fine. the story. It tells the story of stories. I admire the view while this guy says misery, nothing but misery. Pretty. Oh Jesus! I have a lot of points, huh? Mm -hmm. You can't use them, which is like. It's interesting to me that you have so many points available right now. Uh, maybe I'm being more completionist than they're used to, than they expected. Maybe I don't know. I already have that, don't I? Unless they get more expensive as you go up, because they seem like they go on to the right for quite a ways. Over here, four more. Oh, so about halfway. Also. Yeah. Or maybe they're uh, upgraded forms, maybe. Ooh. I can stack suffering really good. Oh, I thought I just took suffering off. Oh, that is suffering. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, fair enough. Uh, no, there's no lockpicking skills. I, I don't think this guy would have the dexterity to be able to handle that, to be honest. Maybe Rasputin could do it, but this guy couldn't.
the um what was it the the way you mess around with your uh skills does remind me of um uh, oh what what's that it's it was a it was a recent RPG um uh, tyranny it reminds me of tyranny the mag making the magic spells in tyranny how you could play around with them Pretty. That is pretty. Very nice. Very nice. Let's go get some drawing lessons. Uh. Mm. Click clack, I was taking a rest. I feel like my sister's gonna be mad if I skip the party to sit on a bench and wait 16 hours to go get opium. <laughs> She just doesn't understand. She just don't get it, man. She just don't get the grind set mindset. Huh? Grinder for life. Chris. Denunciation, the mad artist, Andreskujuj. I say Andreskowitz. Uh... Andreskowitz, who lives on 8th floor, Poznia. Poznia Nask Street, brings strangers to his house every day and talks to them about the new ski Orthodox Church. They discuss its construction in detail. It is highly likely that they are planning an assassination attempt. I advise you to take an interest in this suspicious person and his shady guests. Or they just like the way the building's coming out. Uh, That's mm -hmm. good. Think no, no way. Secret from me. A type denunciation address to an uh, to an uh, Akrona agent uh, at eight slash four Poznoska Street. Suspicious meetings are held daily at the Mad Artist Apartment. The subject of the talks is the new. Orthodoxy Church. <clears throat> Every day at six in his apartment, Konstanty Andreskowitz gives drawing lessons where you can practice sketching landscapes of Warsaw under his tutelage. Currently, the topic of the class is the Nevsky Orthodox Church. Uh, Ooh, it is, uh, it, is it Baker Street? Because it kind of looks like Baker Street. Do, 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 Piece of burned fabric. Hatred and loathing guided his young hand as he threw away his clothes in an alley and set them on fire. The safe plaid vest, a symbol of Biedermeyer and bourgeois. Uh, boredism, uh, boredom burned silently. He felt nauseous at the thought of his family, its passivity and lack of ambition. It was time for fire. Someone's having a bad day. Mm hmm. They don't want me to wait. You got opium to burn, my friend. Oh yeah, I can go visit Ra Ra Rasputin. I mean, he he, he seems kind of lonely without you, to be honest. Yeah, let's go on a murder investigation. Why not? I thought it was going to make me want to wait again. I feel like that woman was propositioning me. Oh, well, of was. course. Lone Wolf. Denunciation. To the attention of the police station for Warsaw Schrodemensky, September 1st, 1905. 
Yesterday, at a private diner, the artist Antoni Lenishkui uh, expressed himself in an unflattering terms about the Tsar, then made a toast shouting subversive slogans, quote, The Tsar will get his competence, and we will soon see the fling with the tail between his legs. To an independent Poland, which is always present in our hearts, if not yet on the maps, honest citizen. Every insult will be avenged. The sad men will soon come for Aunt Tony. His head spins from cold rage and a desire for revenge. Every innocent word dooms the enemy. Verses of the denunciation dance around the overjoyed heart in a haunted profession. No, no, we're not looking for homes. Ooh. Glasses Option. with a bent frame and broken lenses. Actually, it's not options. It just means I have the skills to unlock both. Uh, before his last breath left him, father's gaze wandered, searching for the source of his end. He did not close his eyes. He passed away with his eye eyes wide open, hurling thunderbolts from his eyes towards his nemesis. Uh, anger clung to the crooked frame. Not grief, sadness, or fear. Also natural in a moment of danger. Anger. At the fact that his death came too soon. It announced itself, but did not ask about any unfinished business. Uh... The owner of the shoe was a haughty soul who feared nothing, for whom death was an intruder destroying the order of the universe. He had his feet firmly on the ground, and even when death stared him in the eye, he did not give in to the instinct to flee. Yes, this shoe belonged to my father. Hmm. Why was your father's shoe over here? Wild fury radiated from here, nestled in the body. This blow to the pillar collapsed the entire building, a punch born of a powerful fist, carrying colossal amounts of strength. Chaos. Only chaos can be felt here, devoid of any composed thought, intention. What breaks through it to the surface of this disorder is destruction, as if designed in the guts of what wrought it. Uh, sounds like a salutor did it, huh? A little bit. Mm. Wow, well, your father, he, we were told he didn't have any enemies. How could it be another salutor? This place carries the memory of my father. What is left of him here completes his image as a tenacious man with a hard heart. Interestingly, he expected death, although it came sooner than he expected, which clearly upset him. And the death that came for him was a strong, uncompromising fury. Am I a magician or what? Geez, he really does not have many decorum when it comes to his dad, huh? No. Alright, let's see what Upir has to say. He's a smart fella, even though he never says anything. Death did not catch my father by surprise. It seems as if he had been expecting it, just not at that moment. He was practically annoyed about it. There was something he had wanted to finish. Like putting his book in a safe place? It couldn't have just fallen down like that right as he was going by. Hey, Suski! What? Chicken butt. Ah! What? Chicken butt. <laughs> there you go. I know. Tighter. We took his book. Well done. All right. Let's wake the asshole up. Well, I hope I have enough what's, who's it's and what's it's to uh, make it through this. Uh. Wakey, wakey. Hi. What? What's. Well, come on, Sleeping Beauty. I haven't got all day. Now, let me get a. Abarisi. How do I know that name? You look rough, fancy boy. This isn't what I was expecting. I forget what our deal with him is. Uh. Well, what did you expect? 
that after years of hanging out in Parisian salons, you'd come back handsome and spruced up. I was supposed to hit the barber and the tailors. <laughs> Nothing stays secret from Anyejit's right? Shit. Just read out my birth certificate, why don't you? Uh. Long time no see, Shursky. What kind of a sick idea is this? Kidnapping me. It's a joke! I feel like flopping around you know, saying let me go is never just yeah. gonna accomplish anything what does ever. It feel like nope. To have your life depend on me. Nora is demanding that he stops, but... What can I say? Feels bad, man. Not the best. Mm -hmm. Listen, I understand you hold some resentment within yourself over what happened. But I can't change the past. Does this beard look well, fuzzier yes. than lo the but last shit. week we played? You told me to wait for help and instead the boys in bit. blue showed up and you washed your hands of it and left my pop to rot in prison. And this guy has a wonderful comb That over. you acted like a dick. He's also, like, they both got, both got, like, really fancy brooches. I don't know if it is like that, but I feel like I'm f informing the, uh, past. Uh... Hmm. Whatever. Maybe? I admit that it was a shitty move on my father's part. Your father's? Well, look at this weasel. Straight to whitewashing the past. Like father, like son, eh? My father's karma came back to bite him. A horrible death in return for the kind of man he was. I'm sure you heard. Well, admittedly, nothing's but a spring in my step in a long while, like hearing that Shulsky met his end as sludge on the sidewalk. They say the devil doesn't take the wicked, but for your old man, he made an exception. Now that he's dead, let's put the past behind us. There'd be no reason to talk if you hadn't pinched Papa's gaff back then. Victor, it kills me that we pulled the trigger together. Together. Yeah, dude. Where's that rat? What the fuck? Boss, it's the Cossacks again. Come here, coward. Looks like you've is got that a uncle? For redemption. Coward. Or I'm gonna get to beat the shit out of some Cossacks. Maybe. Hell yeah. I am fine with either. Let's show these dickheads you don't mess with the shivs. Yeah, because they're pointy. I'll take a look around. Tragedy on... Marcel Kowska Street. Several people have died in a building collapse, including respected Warsaw entrepreneur. I feel like I've read this one. Uh, no one seems to know the cause of defective construction or deliberate attack. All we know is could not be seen. Shock and awe. Tenement house inhabited by four families. Three of them now. Yeah, anymore. we've seen this one. Yep. Must be so you can't miss it. Inventory debts. September. Alois Aloisi Gajuski owes 200 rubles. Uh, duck in manure until September 10th. What? Uh, Rudy, talk back. Deadline October 5th. Knock one of his teeth out if he doesn't apologize in writing. Uh, nice. Uh, Joseph uh, Landau owes 50 rubles till September 9th. Break one f uh, finger for every 10 rubles owed. Holy shit. Uh, That's, uh... That's pretty... It's a lot. Uh, Jan Frisco thankfully paid off uh, his uh, 335 rubles. So. so he's good. He's good. Good. You guys again. You shitheads better have a good excuse, because I was right in the middle of an incredibly important meeting. It was fate that decided. We flipped a coin, and it turns out that today, we're practicing our boxing on you. Some... Feathers? A beak? I know you. I like him. I want him. I can't remember now. I want to pet him. 
fucked up. You can't. But today, you'll regret it. Today, I've got the Demon Master on my side. Show these credits. I kind of want to run away. Oh, well. The Demon Master. Ooh. And we can do some interesting upgrades. Ooh. Which one are you gonna choose? Uh, that one, because it uh, gives me health. Fair point. Wonder how long it's gonna be before we end up losing one of these. Because, like, last time it got kind of close. Hey, Brass Cog just wants to redeem something. Not this stream, but I've got a positive to share. Just wrapped up my college class and passed the final. They've been dealing with MSRA, which sucks. Wouldn't want to recommend. And the sepsis. With yaks with uh, blood pressure. Going to go try a round of disc golf tomorrow. First time out in two months. Way to go, Braska. Cog, way to go. Yeah, and, uh, Fox. yeah. And, uh, by the way, Frozen, uh, I'm sure that works occasionally, but sometimes, uh, sometimes it works too well. Well, at least he's helping. Okay. I didn't forget to like attach a thing to that, did I? Weird. Doesn't look like you have too much reinforcements coming either, which is nice. Ooh, focus. Let's get his focus down. Eh, he didn't need it anyways. What did the arm ever do for him? He was gifted with two. Yeah, exactly. You go night night. Oh, no. Yeah, you go night night now. Masters of Fisty Cuffs. Give him the old dick twist. <laughs> I mean, we kind of have pocket demon sand there, Frozen. Uh, font boy, yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, I didn't see that comment until now. My apologies. Glad you got the automate, uh, auto audio fix. And by the way, nice to have you with us. Haven't seen you around. 
we streamed before. Hey, nothing wrong with lurking. Even text lurks. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh! We can switch to Bukovach. Yeah. I didn't realize I could do that mid-combat for some reason. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no. Some days it's nice just to have a little bit of that, you know, cozy going on. Herby lurky. Yeah, uh, font oh. boy. This is Thamaturge. It's uh, Slavic blood w blood sorcerer slash demon sorcerer. Yeah. So, set in kind of like a steampunkish nineteen. This and there's 19, a, no nineteen twenty ish. It's not steampunkish. All the technology has been accurate so far, right? Um. Fair, fair. It it feels a little. I don't know. I'd expect there to be more guns, I guess. Uh, we have had a, gun a couple guns. Uh... Yeah, like a couple, but... Because this is 1920, right? Like, I'd expect everybody and their, uh, their dog to have a... Uh... A World War One gun, if that was the case. So I, I, it's a little confusing to me, but I'll, I'll you know roll with it. It's Russia. They're still using uh, antiquated weapons back then. Yeah. I mean, this guy's using magic. Gosh, when did he stop using that? Yeah. That's why I specified the technology's been mostly accurate, not uh, the magic. Uh There's a reason I've been calling it Slavic rather than uh, Russian, though. Because, like, I think this is more Polish? I think? Uh, the, uh, we're in Warsaw at the moment, Poland. Yeah. Bonk. Right in the kisser. Also, what happened to his sword? You punched him in the face and now he has no sword. He swallowed it, probably. Or maybe it was just the angle? Yeah, I think it was the angle. Up. Did you see that? <laughs> I'm pretty good at this that. combat, eh? You're getting pretty good, yeah. I mean, I got four achievements in one fight. Uh, not this one. One of the uh, fights the other day. You never let me down. This is the best way to start an evening at Nyejit's bar. This was a fun fight. I stabbed him with my fun, ghost sword. Let's do it right. A round for everyone. I stabbed him with my ghost sword as a joke. Uh, it was a good joke. Old friendships never die, right? Here, Polish, pure, the mother of all libations. Oh, Rasputin's here Enjoy too, Brass Dog. Who knows what piss you've been drinking abroad. So, are we quits? I help you out. Now, can we forget all that ancient history? Don't be so sly, Victor. We're not squared up, yet. <laughs> that burns nicely. My knuckles are itching. Let's go somewhere and pick a fight. Yeah. Nice. Well, what do you say, Victor? Do I want to mention the salutor to him? I don't think I do. Uh... No. I will bring up the past again. Returning to the subject of the past. Fuck the past. We're in the here and now. Let's enjoy the moment. Cheers. You don't want to talk about it? I thought that was why you kidnapped me. I've changed my mind already. 
You better tell me what you're poking around my bar for. He's got a right to change his mind. Uh, might as well tell him. Yeah. It seems to me there's work for me to do at your bar. No shit. I'll give you a hand. This Not guy is bipolar, huh? A little bit. It seems to me there's a salutor here. What the fuck? Who brought a demon into my joint? I'll give him... Although, hang on. <laughs> a demon is a good publicity. This hey fucking guy. From this day forth, the London bar will be known as the Demon's Den. Go and tell everybody that here is the only place you can do shots in the devil's company. I'm going to steal his demon. Eh? Listen, you keep on thinking about how you can develop your business. And I'm going to take a look around and come right back. Go. I'm going to wet my whistle and I see want the you listener to focus, focus. If you need something, he's my I'm new here, best friend. And I'll give you a hand. This seems like a bad idea. Menu, Borster broth, put uh blah blah blah. I'm sorry, it's nice, but it's a little unnecessary of a read. A hole in the wall with a bullet still stuck in it. My first expectation is always to find fear, doubt, or anger behind a bullet. After all, who shoots just like that? Treating it as some sort of game. Exactly the kind of person who fired this bullet. Lightheartedly, seeing the weapon only as a tool of enjoyment. Uh, that gives me Aberitzi vibes, but maybe not. Uh. What a dickweed. Some sometimes you just, you know, you do some shooting. See that guy here? He's catching a demon. Demon catcher. You want to read on the labor movement and its leaders, Chris? Uh, sure. On the labor movement and its leaders. The labor movement is growing strong. It, its impact could see not just in the large cities, but the small ones as well. We could now argue that the workers across cities, towns, and villages all unite in a common struggle for a better future. And it is no surprise that the movement is growing if it has such charismatic leaders. Let us just mention the irreplaceable Rosa Luxemburg or Marcin Kratrizik. These people possess a magical kind of magnetism. Just listen to them. And will you, you will be raring to go. What is their secret? I will not hesitate to answer. The purity of their ideals. They are people who serve their country earnestly, and we should all follow an example. Kimmerick. Kimmerick. Drops of blood seeped deep into the wood, preserving the memory of a severed human ear. The hand that threw the knife had a clear target, an ear cut off in a frenzy, with a smile, by a mind deaf to any afterthought. Yeah, a reckless man. Do we know any of them? Maybe people that, are, like, flip on a drop of a hat? Uh, no. Individuals, no think... individual splinters still remember the cold steel of the blade, which was guided by a heart marked with competitiveness. It had no precision, only stupidity fueled with a desire to win. An ordinary rag soaked with blood. The cloth is stained the, the, with fresh blood. The ultimate blood. That which flows from a fatal wound. Carelessly put away, it is the last reminder of a recent brawl with a tragic ending. Devastating. I'm not myself until I get a drink. Yo, that's the sign of alcoholism, huh? A little bit. I mean, it's not alcoholism if everyone's doing it, right? I'm sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, Scott Joplin, might believe Frag. I mean, Zeus, if uh, we could get a cut, that would be amazing. It stopped playing, huh? Because I went to go look at it, huh? Schrodinger's Shrodding, uh, bar music. Hey, Lone Wolf, you want to read? To the eyes, poem. To the eyes. Your eyes are filled with shades of my memories. 
close them and look there, far ahead. Do you see? Sunrise. The day's herald. No, for you. Night is eternal, yes? I see you, lipless, with hair as long as the past. You, a body warm in my memory. You rot, yet violets spring from you. Pluck them and give myself to your embrace. I feed on nothing, nothing I affirm, and I wait. I wait, no epiphany comes. The spearheads of your eyes are hollow. I search for a gaze, but only in hand, deaf in its stare. Warsaw, 1904. A broken window with planks where the glass should be. Fragments of human tissue can still be found nearby. Some man flew through this window, leaving behind the memory of his bleeding body. Someone grabbed him by the tails and pushed him without much force or precision, rather spurred by adrenaline. Hmm. I'm pretty... He might have it. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, Aberizzi. Carries the memory of poetry being recited in different situations, whether while picking dirt from under one's fingernails or mutilating someone's face. The bloodstained blade must be a good source of inspiration. From the wooden inlaid handle protrudes a long, sharp pommel that has tasted blood and stripped people of small body parts more than once. The knife is a bloodthirsty beast that demands to be fed. Uh... The London bar couldn't belong to anyone else, as it is perfectly Aberizzi's nature. The parties here often get out of control and end badly or even tragically for those involved. This place smells of blood, stupidity, and foolhardiness, all soaked in alcohol. Yes, sir. How wonderful. Here we finally look like ourselves. Laughing school kids, constantly in search of a new brawl. Nice of Aberizzi to keep it. Uh... Yeah, the one on the right looks like Malcolm in the middle. Uh, that was Aberizzi and me. Yeah, Aparizzi looks like Malcolm. I feel like I'm about to get a new Salutor. Or at least soon maybe. enough that I should maybe save the points, huh? Hey, Pierre, I'll be right with ya. Um, I just... I just really like how this game looks. I like it, uh... It does have a good look. And feel. Mm hmm. Vodka, revelry, extreme opinions, violence. That giant bird must enjoy it. And I'm sure it also stirs up the chaos. Victor, time for penalty drinks. Feathers, a beak. Eyes. Who are you? I can't focus. Don't make me come over there. Gee, I wonder why. I know someone with mood swings, a tendency for bravado, and the weak. Jesus, I fucking wonder. Don't make me come over there. Have you nosed around my humble little hole in the wall? What's the word? Well, well. How did you get your hands on all this? I worked my ass off for years. I found myself in shitty positions. Sometimes I had to make people disappear. Pop wouldn't have been proud of me. Maybe it's a good thing he didn't live to see it. But then I'd have to kill you. Well, it's a good thing he doesn't have to kill you. And didn't deserve for that to happen to him. I'm sorry. That's true. However, we're alive. We're in the here and now. And that's the most important thing. And what a life it is, eh? Whether with your head in the clouds, or a knife at your throat, once eating ribs at Matslov's, another buried in one's breasts. Moment. Stay a while. Linger. But before long, you're running flat out. Someone, whap, nabs you by the coat. But here I am. Every time, I'm reborn like a fucking phoenix from the ashes. What is this bullshit about it, sir? 
Victor. That was weird. Victor. What I've been through belongs to me. Now I'm the king. Tell me, what else is going on? Tell what else isn't going on? These Cossacks. They roam Stop around the different thing. bars picking fights as soon as they get leave from the citadel. Sometimes we pummel each other and things continue as usual. I've had a look Seems around legit. and some things caught my attention. I think they might have something to do with the Salutor. Well then, shoot! A bucket of dirty water and a blood-soaked rag. Whose blood is this? As if I remember everybody who's bled on the floor here. Every day we've got to clean up after somebody. Is that everything, or have you found anything else? Did anybody die from this bullet that got stuck in the post? Bullets fly every which way here. That's the atmosphere. Was someone killed? Probably. <laughs> But that's not very unusual. Look how helpful I am. <laughs> Keep going. Who smashed your window? I did. How long it's been? Uh, two days, I think. This one Russian bigwig was really fucking irritating me, so I politely asked him to leave. What else can I help you with? Tell me. Uh, I'm at your service. You like to go wild here, huh? Are you often the one who gets the old crazy ball rolling? You know I used to have a puppy. This little fluff ball was hanging out under the bar. I have a heart, Victor. I have a big heart. Not like those morons over there. To Cossacks, a game without a corpse is no game at all. For me, knocking out teeth, breaking hands, I'll take it. A stiff spoils the mood a bit. That's my opinion. What happened to the puppy? What happened he was to the called puppy? Romeo. Uh, he fell in love. One day he packed his bags and uh, ran off with that. Uh... I'm sure he uh, started a family. He's raising his puppies and reminiscing. Oh. Yeah. Mm. My brave little guy. But honestly, uh, but what were I think anybody about? dating this guy could probably do better. Where my corpse here lieth down. Something, something looketh around. What do you call a lot? Th three a month on average, I'd say. Danis, that Cossack with a dick where his head should be, pulled out his revolver one day and wanted to play Russian roulette. Only with his revolver. But fuck it. I'm not handing my head over so easily to a butcher like that. Well, then I'll ask you. Is he an idiot or what? Yes. I have to gather my thoughts. Go ahead, go ahead. I have to gather myself a little too. Lele. Oh, they. What the hell did you say, Victor? You're out of your goddamn mind. The Salutor's name's Lelek. Well, yes, the beak, the feathers, the trill. He loves the smell of death and he enjoys risk and foolishness, which he also fuels. So let's go. Ah, he's making the problem worse. Yeah, come on. Where about it is, Lella could be as well. Maybe his flaw is speaking for him. Whoever's with us is with us, and whoever's against us, fuck him. Come on. I'll show you places even the philosophers never dreamed of. Maybe your demon will be drinking vodka somewhere there, too. I'm pretty sure my demon prefers some of the more expensive stuff. Uh, consider considering he's a nobleman. Uh, uh, what do you say we take five, fellas? Uh, five it is. Sure. Yep. Five. And just because it is that time of the evening, I'm gonna redeem a water break. I want everybody to have at least some water. Even you people out in the crowd there. Drink up.
Tea and lemonade do suffice. I agree both. Uh, also, I, I don't think I've said it, evening Mercury. I hope you're having a great evening. I'm having orange juice myself. Fresh squeeze right from the frozen can. How old is that uh, cat of yours, uh, Mercury? Oh, nice. That, uh, he's, he's probably got lots of... Is he just coming down from the Zoomies age, then? Oh, yeah. Gotta do that bit of that posture check. I'll remember the, remind uh, the boys when they get back. Hey, thanks for the subscription there, uh, Wingless Raven. 23-month streak, well done. Uh. Uh. So, Newt, we, uh, we've had a posture check. Get, get your uh, posture on. I did. Mine's bad. Huh? Just just posturize. Yeah. I checked my posture. It's bad. Huh? It doesn't say anything about maintaining my posture. It just says checking it. And Posturize, please. Posturize. Oh, my God. Yeah, just like you got to posturize your milk. Oh, my God. Posturize your po back. Posturizing is illegal in America. Past your eyes? Nah, just up to my tits is fine, huh? Uh, born that way, Mercury? Or, like, uh, was he uh, the runt of the litter? Jesus Christ, this is the most annoying form of magic in history.
Take a deep breath. That's the smell of Warsaw nightlife. Smell it, Victor. Relish it. A bouquet of sweat, shit, and Man, that guy had it going on. Thanks. But it's worse, come on. You'll see the true face of Abauritz and Yejitz. And maybe you'll even... A broken bottle with blood splatter nearby. A hand that used the bottle as a weapon was driven by deliberate malice and the desire to have fun. There's no aggression here or desire to cause harm, just unadulterated stupidity. One hair, another, fresh blood covers them. This bottle hit someone's head. First it was emptied in the blink of an eye, and as soon as the opportunity arose, it was smashed on someone as an exquisite joke. Is it the guy to the south? It's not Aberici. Like, but is the guy who was smashed the guy to the south? On the ground there? Where? That guy. No. That was just a random other guy who got smashed in the head by a bunch of bottles. When I was cycling up north once, someone bottled him. That's not nice. No, I was unhappy. They were at highway speeds too, and it broke my helmet. Inside, it states that it's the property of Aberici Constanowitz of uh, Nidzik. Uh, this notepad is a vessel into which inspiration is poured, kept close to the heart, serving as its inspiration, uh, or expression. The nib has pierced the paper in some places. So much excitation was in the poet's hand, a record of that the pure passion that fills the owner. The pages of the notebook are inscribed from top to bottom. Some have been torn out, while others bear the marks of many erasures. Words, 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 including extremely flowery metaphors revealing the poet's sensitive soul. Yeah, let's do some absinthe. After downing the last glass, I saw a thick fog gather at my table, and from it emerged a beautiful woman clothed only in chains made of pearls and precious stones. I awoke almost instantly, I think, cradling a beautiful, almost naked broom in my arms. <laughs> it was a very attractive broom. <laughs> that is probably a good traditional depiction of absinthe. Huh? Sugar cube and all, baby. Deadness. Blood, blood. The heart calls. The blade heeds and feeds. I choke on the blood. Uh, I search for love in blood. I search still. Warsaw, 1905. A dry blood stain in the wood that forms a pattern. What initially appears to just be a blood stain is, in fact, a poem. It only One only has to peer deeper into what remains of it for one's attention to be drawn to the individual smudge words from which it is no longer possible to extract any meaning. A holy tortured artist, Batman. The mask of a ruthless gangster conceals a truly sensitive soul. Torn between conflicting feelings, he balances on a thin line between beauty and ugliness, tenderness of violence. Confronting him with this inner chaos might reveal his flaw. It sounds like he needs help finding peace, if anything. Eh? I almost feel bad. I, I feel bad for him. Eh? Mm -hmm. I, I, think the, I think the Salutor is making him... Yeah, he's it's, it's sucking the life out of him a little bit. Uh, Mercury, uh, your cat there is the definition of a poor boy from a poor family. He's just a poor boy. boy from a poor family. Spare him his life of this monstrosity. Welcome to my world. Meaning what? That they've got a guy tied up in the back here too, and they're about to threaten to drown him in the vistula? I see the positive mood of the neighborhood has infected you. Wonderful. But you guess wrong, friend. Here, well... Do I want to know his definition magic of magic? Is here. Thought is transformed into word to penetrate the material and infuse the universe with tenderness. All right. Oh, God. Let's poetry see. slam. I mean, you're basically you're beatboxing the whole day without a tune. I've, Just... ar I've already. Uh... Oh, no, that's me doing my jazz snapping. Uh... I know, like, but you're like you're just kind of like just doing it all day. Marriage, so. People come here to tickle their palates with exquisite libations. Let's do a milk of eighty-three.
You're not messing around. After years of begging and eating scraps off aristocratic tables, I'm not messing around. You come here to get some fresh air away from the underworld? I come here so I don't forget who I am. A poet. A poet who didn't know it! You've always had a silver tongue. <laughs> don't I know it? Add to that a despicable past, and you've got all the ingredients for a poet. Now why are we sitting here instead of at your bar? My lads, bless them. Set me up a poetry reading once, but they're simple folk. They don't understand this. Poesie. They laughed when they should have cried. Cried when their hearts should have flooded with anger. I don't hold it against them. My bar trades on its reputation as a dive. That's how you make the most money. What is your plan? Would you rather the name Nyejits make people talk about the king of the underworld? Or a great poet? The poetic king of the underworld. Anyway, they already say that. The Shivs think of me as a bard. And the competition says so too. And since I've got them all by short hairs, they respect me, even though they can't string two proper sentences together. I've got a gift, Victor. I can't complain about a lack of talent. This man speaks words and phrases, but so I, I just... Actually been going on they don't run together. The last 15 <laughs> years. My father ended up behind bars, and as for me, the streets took me in, taught me life. I roamed around got odd jobs and when i was hard up i went begging i've got a tough skin on me victor but the embers of poetry still smolder in my heart well in time i gained a new family my shivs we were supposed to go to high school together maybe to university after that everything would have gone differently if only we did the world a favor by fucking over that loan shark. One way or the other, Pop's debts would have landed me on the streets. If I hadn't told you about it, you wouldn't have hit on your brilliant idea. I'll sort him out with my salader, you kept saying. You were too unskilled at that magic business of yours, eh? A gun is reliable and evocative. I thought a thaumaturge kid wouldn't make as big an impression as a kid with a pistol. And all in all, you were right. It's just a shame we used the gun. I trusted my father to help us, but he only told me not to interfere. He swore he'd sort it out. All right, there's no need to waste your damn breath. He's gone, and we're here. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I think Lelek is attached to you. A demon following me around? Bullshit. There are a lot of indications. Your personality, the things you do, and stuff like <laughs> Subtle. that. Subtle. Not. I'd my name not is not have anyone Victor. Sharing my head with me. Can you do something about it? There's only one way. I have to figure out your flaw, which means pushing you to the edge. But it's not going to be pleasant. Every day I balance on the edge. That doesn't scare me. Go ahead. I found your poem. Did you write it in your own blood or that of one of your victims? Victims? The hell are you talking about? Of course it was mine. I sliced my veins open for art. That's how committed I am. More like desperate. No true poet needs to resort to gimmicks. He just needs ink, and the world will hear him. Shit. One more word, and I'll forget about our friendship. Hack. There's nothing to forget. Our friendship is just a figment of your sick imagination. Oof. Stab me in the so, heart. It'll hurt less. I think I have to push him. 
I yeah. warned you it wouldn't be nice. So you did, but, well, it still hurts to hear. Wait, is that all? What about that demon? Nothing. It actually looks as though it latched onto someone else. You are simply... Oh my! Out of uh, oh, we're still pushing him. Well, of course I am. Not that I'm scared. Nothing frightens me. But some weight has actually... Wait, well, it's really not him. ...from my heart. I'm sure it'll be fine. So, should we continue our search? Oh, Victor, lad. How that we tickles me. Come on. Of course we're continuing. We have to find that little brat of yours. Well, that's sad. I wanted him to just be sick. Huh? He may be old, or be, uh, you know what I mean. Yeah, he may be old or mature. The Chamberlain of Chaos, the Minister of Warsaw's Vagary, the Messenger of Sirocius of the Liver. With every sip of vodka, our passion grows, and the city becomes that much more colorful. And it belongs to us. Nice drawing. Yep. Kind of makes me think a little bit of... Um... Uh, clockwork orange especially with that cane when he's sitting in the chair hey he does love him some ultra violence doesn't he mm-hmm and it's all in good fun blokes it's all in good fun the street lamp has traces of muddied soles on it it seems that someone attempted to climb it Maybe they were trying to do a backflip. A bloody hat. Inside is a label with the name Pasha sewn in it. This is no ordinary hat. It's a vessel for memories of true friendship and a comfort zone in which you can be yourself. Now soiled, used to frantically staunch blood that gushed from a wound born of thoughtlessness. A reckless man. Anton Invitation. Oh, go ahead. Anton... Lezanewski is pleased to invite admirers of the art of painting to an exhibition during which he will present the new series of paintings entitled Rebirth. It will be a creative reference to the Greek myth of Prometheus. The exhibition will take place on September 6th at 5 p.m. at 94 Marzalowska Street, Apartment 8. The paintings will be available to the public in the evenings for the next two weeks. Hey, it's evening. A small printout decorated with floral motifs is an invitation to attend an exhibition of the works by artist Antoni Lesniewski. You, you lost. Did you hear what I heard? Oh, the man on the ground is not dead. He's um, just in a lot of pain. Wow, you give up, you piece of shit? Yeah. <laughs> Do you see what I see? I see two morons wrestling with a lamppost. Who's winning? How you fellas doing? Who's winning? It's a colossus looking down its nose. Arrogant piece of... I swear it called us sons of bitches. <laughs> well, that would piss anyone off. The Salutor's presence is so strong here, it wouldn't take much to lose one's head. Some people... Stop distinguishing reality from imagination and see danger even in inanimate objects. Lanterns seem to be extremely dangerous enemies. Lelic's influence seems to be spreading across the district, pushing people to engage in stupidity and recklessness. This, coupled with the alcohol, causes them to do even more stupid and dangerous things, leaving plenty of blood in their wake. In order to find the person with the fly, I must visit other establishments in the area. And so what he's saying is he needs to spend the day going Take to bar, bar hopping. Take the lamp post side. Uh, I've got I like I, I got to right. Uh, the lamp post didn't do anything wrong. It's it's his imagination. Uh, 
I have to defend. Yeah. Nobody else is sticking up for the lamp post. Uh, As I look at it, or lamp post. You, I've got to admit the lamp post is right. That what? That you're a pair of sons of bitches. That's what. Yeah, leave him alone. On the enemy side, suit yourself. We're not. Combat, combat, combat. Yeah. I, I want the no. I kind of wish the lamp post was on your side of the team. That would be fucking funny. <laughs> that man, he has a gun. So I made something fun for uh, lunch today. What's that? So everybody knows about making burgers and you have to put them on buns. But I didn't have any buns, but I had garlic bread. So I cut it roughly the size of the burger patty. And I on my I just have a cast iron frying pan with like a, a skillet, like one of those screen mesh covers to prevent grease from going everywhere. I was like, well, I don't want to toast the garlic bread, but I want to really nicely warm it up and make it tasty. So I had to put it on top of the screen and then put a pot lid on top of that to kind of trap the heat in. And it really warmed the bread up nicely. Grab. Yeah. I thought he was in the suffering state, but I guess... Ah. He's got invulnerability. These, Bastard. These Thankfully, these guys are very, very, very slow for some reason. Eh? I have no idea why. Maybe they hit very, very hard. And you've disabled his trait. Start him off with a nice little concussion. See where it goes from there. I mean, the concussion and the Sumerian blow would take him out. Uh, yes, but this will give suffering to the him and the other guy. Because mm. his health will be under 50%. Bonk. His revolver did some funny business. Uh. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's regained all his resolve, too, now. Oh, wait, he has suffering. More blood magic. More blood magic. Also, don't mind my friend who just needs to lick your throat. It's fine. It's just a minor, minor, minor amount of um, insinuation. Uh, I can't wait. That sucks. Uh, you can do it. Because he's about to lose his. Uh... Oh well. Honestly, there's three of you. I think you could just take him down this round. Yeah, maybe.
This trait is doubly disabled. Oh. And you shot him right in the heart for a concussion. Well, now this is a productive night. The more brawling, the better. Just shake it Please off. Please visit us again. Time to keep an eye out for Dennis. He was injured in the fight with the Colossus and got lost. I think. We'll find your friend. Maybe the Ataman ended up at the Lockstock. Where? The lock, stock, and barrel. This Ruski bar up the stairs here. Competition. <laughs> the night's still young. There's excitement ahead. Let's follow them. Since I haven't yet found Lelik, that could be just where he is. I mean, it's pretty normal to just walk off a gunshot wound in this world, apparently. Apparently. Private party tonight, no riffraff. Cheers, Ivan, my friend. Mr. Nyejits, well, I've got clear instructions. Don't be silly. It's a beautiful night out. Rare when we see stars over Warsaw. But now look. One, two. If you count them all, ah, you head. know the extent of my gratitude. Well, all right, go on in. I'm more about that, you know, the lack of neck on that guy. You see? That's respect. This is what they call a private party. Oh, it's a chocobo. What is this awake? Good thing we showed up. Double barrel for me. Actually, it looks like one. Make that bit. two. The steel shines and the handle is polished to a mirror sheen. People are not afforded as much love and care as this Shaska, which is cared for so pa uh, so painstakingly. There's something else here, a ritual in honor of the deceased, repeated reverently. It's a kiss laid just above the f former owner's engraving after each polishing. Uh, hmm. Letter to Danis. I hope you're well. It's difficult for me to write this letter, but I want to open my heart to you and not hide the truth. I've long sensed that your affection for me has faded. You no longer write as often as you used to, and I haven't seen you for almost a year. I don't want to remain in uncertainty any longer, so I'm forced to break off our engagement. Be well and don't think of me... Or be well and think of me from time to time. <laughs> don't think of me. <laughs> but don't write me anymore. Olga... P.S. I'm dictating these words to Father Olkin. He wishes to convey that you are no longer welcome in the village, but you could at least visit your mother, huh? Ooh. No. Hey there, well, Digi. How's uh, it going this evening? The page knows the kaleidoscope of emotions flooding Danis's heart when he first read the words written here. Unbridled anger came first, eventually giving way to bitterness. Finally, suffering took hold, crowning the process of heartbreak. Uh, But he appears to have a different trace than the reckless man. Or... Maybe that's because there's two demons here. Balalaika. The strings have absorbed the memory of the melodies played on the balalaika. And one of the heaviness of the fingers plucking the strings reflects the wistfulness of the melody. And a two. The impish lightness in an expression... Of raunchy humor, and so it goes around and around. Uh, the soundboard is filled with longing and sad thoughts. They pour out and wander across the strings, regardless of the melodies played on them. 
No matter if the song is cheerful, good to dance to, or sorrowful, the memory stored in the instrument does not lie. Its head sees the world in shades of black. Huh? Well, that's kind of sad. Yeah, I see a red door. You want to see a plank of black. Wow, a well cared for pistol with an ornate grip that I'm just touching. I'm just touching the pistol. Just the, it's sitting on the table and I'm just touching it. Huh? Touch. Mm -hmm. Steel that's cold to the touch burns on the inside with a mixture of hope and fear. Hope that the cold of the metal pressed against one temple will bring solace. Fear that though the heart will stop beating, the soul will continue to suffer. The barrel pressed against his own temple, his finger on the trigger, and chaos in his heart. To shoot or not to shoot. Already the pressure on the trigger is increasing. So little is needed for the bullet to pierce the skull, and yet the finger is withdrawn. The barrel moves away from the temple. Unpredictable, reckless Danis, whose heart is filled with incomprehensible anger, hides his suffering, grief, and longing. Torn by conflicting emotions, he sows chaos and falls into extremes. His behavior stems from his broken heart, which has come, become his curse. It is he that Lelek has taken a fancy to. It is his flaw that I need to identify. I'm guessing his flaw is lust. Look, it I would hope all so. Over him. Commitment issues? Make the most of being so did we just beat these two people up? Yeah. Want? Yeah. Did I hear you talking about Danny? It's pull on. That's just an Danny's acronym. Babes. Mm -hmm. He talks a lot. Makes a big fuss around himself, but when push comes to shove, he leaves them hanging. So them babes must like him. Yeah, nothing for us to do except drink and enjoy one another's company. You seem thick as thieves. Have you known each other long? Since we were kids, we're all from the Don Host Oblast. Under Danis, we traveled far and wide with the Russians. Danis is your commander? Da, Ataman. You know Danis pretty well, right? Yeah, what about it? I take a professional interest in guys like him. Eh. You think I can ask you guys a couple of questions? Let's see what you're after, wizard. I heard that is uh, his uh, finances. How come? You know, he keeps his feelings to himself. But it hurt him. That's what I think. Maybe she got sick of waiting. She had her pick of men in the village. And is that what made Danny so devil-may-care? A broken heart? Sure. What would it be otherwise? Danis read the letter that marked the end of his engagement many times. With each successive reading, his heart crumbled into more pieces. Uh... What about his songs? Also, yeah, they're sub-22 bullets, but I don't think penicillin has been invented yet, so... It just means it's going to be slow and painful. Hey, just because an infection would set in and you might lose the arm doesn't mean you can't just walk it off. Let's talk about Pasha. Who is Pasha? Our buddy, from the same village as us, out past the Don River. We went through a lot together. Pasha's dead. Leave it at that. What actually happened to him? We all stick close together. But when you're drunk, you get some weird ideas. That damned Shashka of Pasha's was a spoil of war. One time, Danis and Pasha got tanked and started playing Russian roulette for it. So, Danis clearly won. But that little saber of Pasha's doesn't make him feel triumph. More like love and concern. He really looks after it. I think he feels guilty. Danis obviously cared for Pasha. He also must have considered him more than just a friend. Pasha was close to Danis's heart. All that's left of him now are the memories enchanted within the objects that Danis closely preserves. The Cossack is tormented over the death of the one who was more than a friend to him. Was it Pasha's death that spawned the flaw in him, or did it only expose it? I've heard Danis likes playing Russian roulette. <laughs> yeah, where'd Such you hear that? Bonehead. He never thinks about the trouble he'll get himself into. You'd better watch your head when he's around. Who'd have thought that Danis was such a sensitive soul? Does he play the balalaika a lot? 
Lately, he's been singing either about the Grim Reaper and Hellfire, or rolling in the hay. You can keep up with him. He goes too heavy on the tearjerkers, for my taste. Any more questions? You know what I think? You're not being straight with me. What? I think Pasha and Danis were more than comrades in arms and blood brothers. On top of that, I think that's why Danis' fiance dumped him. People from your village kept giving her crap. The fuck are you talking about? They were blood brothers, that's all. They were just roommates. To find the body like that. Yeah. Someone for they were roommates. Calm down, I can see Very your Very close roommates. Friends. I'd better go mm -hmm. take a drag of also air. If you mm -hmm. like breathing through a straight nose, don't try any funny business. Hey, maybe he should try that sometime. hi -o! I like how he's saying this, even though you smashed his face in not five minutes ago. Pasha died a foolish death while playing Russian roulette with Danis. Both of them carelessly disregarded the consequences and did not realize the veracity of the bullet. Reality claimed its dues and took Pasha, thus depriving Danis of his roommate. Danis' heart has been broken, and it won't be easy for him to piece it back together. His fiance broke up with him through a few words scribbled on paper, and a close friend died during a silly game in which Danis also participated. Such a life is not a life at all. Danis sees no sense in it, huh? Haha, uh -huh, a Free fun beer. silly game of Russian roulette. Uh -huh, fun beer. for the whole family. Until it isn't. Hey, your 20s is a hell of a drug, huh? Yeah, but that's why you just get, like, a slap contest, not, like, Russian roulette. Well, the motto of Russia is, you know, and then it got worse. Fair. Poland's been, uh, on the receiving end of that punishment lots of times. Sometimes as a, uh, a way to assist the application of and then it got worse yes yes Danis doesn't think about what he's doing and he doesn't care about the consequences as if it's all in the name of fun he couldn't cope with his broken heart so he started tumbling further and further into the depths of chaos it seems like Pasha was more to him than just a comrade and close friend his death hit Danis like a train since then, his life's been nothing but irrational behavior and risk-taking. He's thumbing his nose at death. I think I'll accept the challenge. Time to figure out his flaw and catch Lelek. I wonder if he'll play Russian roulette with me. I'm gonna save, huh? <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Just, just, just put six bullets in the chamber and tell him he has to go first. Shotgun roulette. Uh. Bird shot at five paces. Oh, that's actually cool. Did you see how the how my search effect was still going when the cutscene started? Mm -hmm. I'm in no hurry to go upstairs. I feel like a game. You up for one? Me? Forget it. I have gorgeous hands. Everyone says so. You're not gonna carve them up with that shank. This better not be a rhythm game. You eavesdropping magician? I can play rhythm games, just not on a keyboard. Dance, dance, Soviet revolution. Token barrel or the London bar? The demon's den. Yeah. You're taking a fucking survey? Are you spying for nidgets? Sheer curiosity. I work for nobody. I'm the one in charge of... Devils, I know, I know. Get out of here, I can't stand the sight of you. Otherwise known as speedrun any percent, six bullets in the cylinder. Yup. I found something that belongs to you. A letter. Is... Hand that over. If you read it, you'll regret it. It's private. Easy now, I just wanted to talk. We don't have anything to talk about. 
Leave me alone. Want to play some fun games? You're sitting there so quietly. How about a little game? Do you play Russian roulette here, lads? Or are you too soft? Ha! Think you're harder than me? I ate Russian roulette for breakfast. Let's play. Did someone say Russian roulette? Dude, Aberiti, get the fuck out of here. Show us what a tough guy you are, pretty boy. I feel I one bullet. I feel a, a load happening. Eh? Wait, I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's play with mine. Does he have a trick one? Oh. We keep playing till there's one winner. What do you say I do a poll and we take five? Uh... Sure. What do you what what's the chat thing? I know what I'm thinking. I'm gonna make a prediction. But I don't know how that to do it. That they're shit to servers, so... Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Do six options. <laughs> Excuse me. No the additional terms... votes. That's not democracy. Not for Super Earth? And to be fair, I don't have much goob left in either, so. I keep wasting it on amazing votes that, you know, they have amazing odds with great payout and they get nothing. Yeah, I'm running low. I only got 150,000 goob. I'm down to less than 2k. <laughs> I can report a poll I made. Okay. Uh... Which, which revolver? Yeah. All right. We'll be back in five minutes, folks. Make sure to vote, folks. Okay. It looks like the votes are coming on in. I, I don't even know what song I'm singing. I'm sorry. Well, Sire of Sons, what happens if their name was the cheat? Are they allowed to be the cheat if their name is the cheat? Hey -o. Exactly. Just put on your boxing gloves and type up a good letter, and we'll all get through this together. Or else. Mm hmm
I am back. Welcome back. It looks like the yeah. people have voted. So here's the thing. I don't doubt Aubrey has a trick gun. I just think he has it rigged to kill the other guy and not me. I think he has a tri rigged to, tri to kill both of you. Because remember, only one person can walk away. I want him to kill no one. Uh... Yours would do too. It would be more interesting that way. How? He will remember this. Pa! Does this remind you of anything? My turn. It was nice knowing you guys. And you, Victor. If fate so ordains, we'll speak in hell. Well... Evening, oh, Riven. I Eight saved, and this is giving me anxiety. <sighs> Why do I feel like you didn't even fucking load it? Uh. We're starting round two. Aren't you supposed to spin it each time? Ah, uh, you can spin it, but it's optional. You wonder if you're going There's to different wipe ways. The remains of my brain of your face. Shut your trap. What? You shit in your pants? Maybe he'll shoot me in the arm or something if I make him angry enough. Gods of chaos. Watch over. I don't want any of them to die. That's the end. We know what's waiting in the cylinder. You, you feeling lucky? Enough to cross even that final boundary. You feeling lucky? Enough, gentlemen. Uh, we were kidding around. Danis, there's nothing in. I kind of want to save and then load it. to see what I did. Uh. Pasha ran out of luck and lost his shashka, right? You're lying, Yejits. You're all lying. You think I'm scared of death? The sight of me makes the Grim Reaper quake in his boots. Well, go ahead. Watch carefully. Chocobo! Is that lovely song for me? Aww. Just need some yellow stop. paint. I'm enjoying listening. Just the chocobo with arms. I kind of, I, because I can skip cutscenes, I kind of want to just get the it out of the way, see if he gets shot or not. If everyone's okay with that. And then I'll load back and uh, do yeah. Aberichi, because that's what you guys picked. So, I don't know if any of you remember how you had to do the chocobo breeding in uh, Final Fantasy VII to get, like, the gold chocobo to get Knights of the Round. Oh, yeah. So, uh, this is what happens when you did the chocobo breeding real, real badly. Yeah, it gets human hands. Yeah. Chocobo in breeding. Just provoke him. Mm -hmm. ha. Next time, we'll... I hope so. Let's do it your way. All right. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna reload that after we figure out uh, what happens in this round Does of this uh, remind you of anything? Pop. We want to see if there's a bad ending. <laughs> Hang on, isn't that the same gat we used for play? He just realized it's a real gun. My turn. It was nice knowing you guys. And you, Victor. If fate so ordains, we'll speak in hell. Well, four more. Ah. We're starting round two. Is that how it was with Pasha? Do you wonder if you're going to wipe the remains of my brain of your face? Shut your trap. Fun fact, that's one of the few revolvers that can be suppressed. 
Gods of Chaos, watch over me. That's the end. We know what's waiting in the cylinder. You brave enough to cross even that final boundary? Have you yep, frozen. They are, uh... Pasha they uh, they just don't care. His shashka, right? You're all lying. You think I'm scared of death? The sight of me makes the Grim Reaper quake in his boots. Well, go ahead. Watch carefully. Hmm. Ah. I don't know if it's gonna be different, but I could. But I took a poll, so I'm gonna go with Aberizzi's, I guess. Uh. Yeah. Is that lovely song for me? Is it? It's a mm, it, sing me the song of your people. It is a pretty folk. song. Yeah. Yeah, typical Sunday at the bar before working the next day. So uh, it next sounds day. like it's pretty fucking typical. Yeah. How's it going, Meep? Me uh, no, no, but they're all playing Russian roulette. Could you just reload the save? That's what I'm doing. I thought you no. saved uh, right at the start of the battle. Oh, I didn't know I could. Uh... Mm. We're speed running uh, Russian roulette, any percent speed run. Yeah! We won. Now we're fighting uh, Queen Chocobo. Not wrong. What's your trait? Oh, negative traits. No worry about that. Looks like you're gonna have reinforcements too. Yep. Or they are. Oh, I didn't realize it goes so fast, heck. Oh, you got interrupted too. Yeah. A thunder? I'm not familiar with that mech, Grimace. Is it a Dark Age mech? Thunder, 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 mad cat, go! Okay, so it's a pretty old one. Ow. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, 3055. So it's it's end of uh end of the clan invasion. The fact that the Thunder doesn't have none of its variants have a PPC is just somewhat disappointing to me. It just. Yeah. And yes, pulse lasers are amazing, but. Although, 
My favorite weapon in Battletech has to be machine gun. And if you can get it, the clan machine gun. Because it weighs half as much, and you can fit, therefore, twice as many machine guns on. Because what's Battletech like if you don't if you're not rolling fistfuls of D6s, of pairs of D6s? Fistfuls. Heavy? No, no, no. I, I just like regular machine guns. Amazing. Amazingly low damage to weight ratio. Like, I'll put two tons of machine gun ammo, ammo on my mechs. And I'll run out. If the cockpit isn't a rumble seat, we're not firing it. Uh, Shane, Shane, Seven Rain, they do two damage, but they do it all in ranges of one, two, three for short, medium, long. You might be thinking of uh, Alpha Strike, where I think they only do one damage, but I've not played Alpha Strike, so I could be wrong. Oh no, I um, I throw handfuls of pairs of D6s uh, to hit, uh, and then um, you roll pairs of D6s for every hit to weapon to locations. Yeah. So, like my current mech, it's a uh, Shadowcraft. Uh, I put what was it? Eight. I think it has 18 machine guns on it, and I really want to get some clan machine guns so I can put more. You know, sometimes you need a mech that's just defined as riot control. The, the most successful that style of mech for me has ever been is when there was a dropship that was trying to quickly, uh, quickly take off and like load up units to get 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 gone, but the bay doors were open, so I walked in while they were taking off. And then I just let her rip. It didn't take off after that. Oh yeah. All them crit rolls. And plus all the uh, the uh, the mech bay crew were right there. They, uh, shall we say, they didn't make it. It was, <laughs> laughing at, it was really, really close. I, yeah, it, it, it got real bad. It, were, it had, uh, it had two engine crits on the, uh, on the dropship, and, well, I'm really glad I didn't get a third. Hmm. Ah, oh, one HP. Oh, shame. Lelik is almost down, though. You're doing pretty good. Although your focus is almost gone. Shit. Well, like, I'm just wondering if they can do a concussion to you like you can do to them. I hope not.
Looks like you get to go first, uh -oh. so. I think you can concuss him. Take him out and win? Or does that concussion take too long? Uh, Lelek's going to get a hit on me. I think. Oh, I guess not. You lived! Enough of losing. Rasputin will tame you. He's having a bad day, huh? Why does that gun look like it's loaded, too, with all six bullets in the chamber? The end will never come. What are you talking about, Dennis? Let's get to drinking. The night's still young. You don't understand. None of you. Leave me alone. Poor Dennis. <laughs> I don't want to hear another word. Get out! Shut it, Selim, or I'll find a loaded piece and shoot you dead. Give me a second to get my thoughts together. I have to. Let yourself feel the pain that's consuming you. You need it. Pasha, I'm sorry. I haven't mourned you. That felt like the best one. Dennis, might have been. Yourself together. Come on. No, Selim, I have to. You too as well. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't say anything. No words are necessary. How about we help the poor guy that's uh, operating at 20 frames per second back there? We are your brothers forever till the day we die come on let's leave these scoundrels alone we've got stuff to talk about what i hope i did good i can feel it in my bones mm -hmm. as if i were part of something grand you know you carry an unloaded revolver anybody can pull a trigger i use it to smash heads and balls <laughs> But tell me, did you catch the little sprat? Yeah, I did. But it wasn't easy. Oh my god, so... look how sick I look. Eh? Was it worth it? I don't know. At least now it won't be Lelek deciding Danis's fate. And Evening, Thunderclaps. Let's ask watch. Anything that lets you sleep at night, friend. Forget sleep. Now I need hypnosis. Thanks for today, I'm about it. Yeah. Uh, oh no! One... Hold on now. The night will end when I say so. Come here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die if I don't get to Rasputin, but okay. Uh... Yeah. What do I care? Oh, your eyes look way. fine. That that level of well, bloodshot yeah, eyelids is, is normal. At the end of the day, what heals the body and soul better than a double vodka? Eh? Yeah. Uh, one and only laughing man. This is Four. um Thamaturge, a Russian. Blood mage slash sorcerer. Oh, he said, he said how is it, not what is it. Yeah. Setting to in 1905. To you, to and, um, Thunderclap, Thunderclap, it's, um, it's honestly been pretty interesting. <laughs> I love that camera. So are your demons, yep. Lenny! <laughs> Lenny! Are we pissing? not on my shoes and vomiting we're doing a number three eh? Victor, Victor, <laughs> boy. maybe you aren't at all such a prick as satanislav was satanislav instead of stanislav he just worked satan into his name huh? 99 <laughs> bottles standing on the wall hey <gasps> Lenny! 
Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have gone drinking when I was already pretty fucking sick. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's the Slavic tradition. Wake up in a park. Uh, that guy's beard does the... Well, hello, Sleeping Beauty. My head's about to explode. What the hell are we doing in front of my house? The front steps got the better of you. But <laughs> to, to hell with that. What a night we had. I like how their clothes are actually if different. If you're looking for fun, do it with Nyejits. No, I put my coat on. Uh, yeah, all we did was put coats on. We're wearing the same stuff underneath. Well, no, the other guy, his uh, his shirt's all ruffled up. Oh, he already had blood on his shirt uh, before we started the evening. No, I mean like it, it's uh, it's it's not the same outfit. They've they've modified the game programmers modified the outfit, and I like that. Uh, well, I admit. It was quite, quite, quite schmite. It was spectacular, and we both know it. We'd better get away from here if Ligia finds us. Ligia, and by what fault do your eyes burn red, hot, while your mouth is like honey? You trust over much in my. <laughs> oh I see you're looking after our good name. Oh sir. fuck, I was supposed to go to a party. Mm-hmm. Forgive me. It won't happen again. It won't. I'll make sure of that. I can assure you, my darling sister, that next time I'll make it all the way to the door. Can you make it home from here, or do you need a hand? But, but, those five rubles, remember? Oh, you dick. Uh... Five? What the hell do I owe you that much for? My dear friend, I can't answer that question in the company of a lady. Water whores aren't that expensive. You two got bilked. Victor, with each word, I find your sister more and more impressive. One way or another, I wouldn't like to have you as a creditor. If I needed a loan, it was because I'm broke. Then go fish around at home. A gold watch if Satanisuavs would come in handy. He doesn't care anymore. Satanisuav? Here, from now on, you can cover your own tabs. Maybe you'll even start paying for your own telegrams. And now, pardon me, but I have things to do in life. Once you've dragged yourself home, brother, I'd like a word with you. All right. Uh, Don't worry about it now. We'll she have a angry. Yeah. Next time, you're buying. Next. Time. Laughing that that would require someone to sleep with Wicker. <laughs> so I don't think, think it's I'm happening. With you? One night like this is too little for us to be squared up. I know not why others stare, lest it's at our drinking fair. Booba. Mm, so did we lose any of the side quests? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I didn't see anything. Okay. He's starving. To Victor Shulski. Please come Please to the come. cemetery immediately. Urgent matter. Uh, Sokol, grave digger. That's... Admire the view. I, I I would laugh if the admiring the view was looking down at the pavement and seeing the <laughs> cobblestones. <laughs> oh, perception weekend. Pay a visit to Rasputin. Mm. I literally can't improve until I, uh... That's fair. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's rah rah Rasputin. Yep.
Hey, I need to go talk to the guy anyway. Ew, Freemason, Freemasons. Huh? A technician's association in Warsaw invites you to attend a series of lectures delivered by the top Polish inventors, technicians, and people of science, held every Thursday at 7 p.m. at the association's headquarters at 59 Pałaskowska Street. Admission 20 kopecks. Uh. Yeah. Jesus, I'm not reading all of those. How do I mark them all as red? Uh, oh, well. Daddy's beloved book. I didn't expect to inherit anything, least of all his black grimoire. Too bad it went missing. Honestly. Was I worthy or was it a joke? Let the prodigal son go looking under the pavement while the book is at the Warsaw Charity Society. In the ruins of the tenement house, I didn't find the answer to what happened to the grimoire. I guess I hoped the book had been overlooked under the rubble. The only true useful thing I took from home, reliable, until now. I cannot remember how it ended up in our house. That is what my banishment started with, how drastic it stands. The outcast revolver, the gunslinger in exile. Nonsense. Oh, I figured, I think I figured it out. Uh, when uh, Aberizzi asked, is that the revolver that he was asking if it was the revolver that we used to kill that loan shark when we were younger? Nice. In Kash in Kashubian, his name means fool. Lelex are small and unruly salutors drawn wherever there's music from various acts of recklessness, especially if someone dies in the process. Their trill is often a harbinger of, in of imminent death. Flaws that Lelex are interested in are those related to excessive bravado, gullibility, and looking for conflict. My Lelex followed Danis, the, cons the Cossack who defied death. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to read all that. Uh. <laughs> it looks like a penis upside down. <laughs> nice. Green. Lots of green areas. A beautiful tune. As if the fiddle were alive and carried, and carried it on its own. For a brief moment I felt someone had touched a string in me that I didn't know existed. Aw, a very loving representation. No tip, though. Oh dear, that looks like it is anti-thaumaturgy. Ooh, we're getting color now. Neat. Back home, everyone's hungry. All the building is too much. A sweet aftertaste with a hint of bitterness. A postcard, or postcard from the overseas world where the song of heavenly birds meets the rattle of slave chains. Aw, what a nice drawing. What's the tool on the bottom? Oh, shit, I missed it. Wonder if I can it look looked at like it. something. That... I don't know if you can view drawings. Huh? Oh well. Yeah. Hmm. It, it like I'm not sure what it was because it looked like a meat tenderizer, but without the hammer. The case fell out of the carriage window. Well, maybe she shouldn't have fixed her makeup while she was drunk. Uh, passionate words have settled on the lid. Pleadings for her to go with him. Promises that she would become famous as a dancer in the new world and that everyone would envy her. Mm. 
Casimir Proz Prozinski is a name likely to be heard many more times, not only in Warsaw, but across the world. His inventions mainly concern live photography of war machines. Two of his works are of particular importance for the development of cinema, the removal of light flickers and the projection of images, and the invention of the handheld filming technique that doesn't require a tripod. The aforementioned removal of light flickers represents a breakthrough in cinematography after years of stagnation caused by the futility of efforts taken to address this issue. The newspaper opened on a page describing the achievements of a well-known inventor who's involved in live photography and has considerable achievements in the field. My husband's picked up reading right li recently. Thunder. Thunder. And the lightning. Come in. Going out in the lightning. In the lightning. In the rain. Please. Just leave. To rights. Yes, sir. I like how they, one of the options just just leave. Echo of the past cuts through artistic disarray. This used to be a studied hairstyle, but it went rogue in the absence of a hairdresser. Can you get your hair back after you cut it off, I wonder? I wonder. Oh man, just go for the flat mustache bald head. Be that man. Oh, never mind, you can't actually have a bald head, probably. Grimoire. Hmm, graveyard chic. I don't hate it. Uh. Cossack's mustache. Oh, Jesus, no, that no, no, no. Wow, he looks different. He looks yeah, like just, he looks like Hitler. Uh. Yeah, just don't do that one. That that one. Even uh. that one's better. This one I like. It's uh it's a more restrained version of this. What about uh, the one without a mustache? The uh just Abraham Lee. No, that is not a <laughs> that is not a good look on him. Die on his babe. I think this is I, no, I think this is okay. Uh, hang on, that, that's I just honest, lost my headphones. That, hang on. Yeah, that's honest Abe if he had access to too much hair gel. I'm back. Anyway, I think this is the look. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? I can just be mean? Uh, oh, let's find out what he, why he doesn't talk. I can't help noticing that you're the most tight-lipped barber I've been to. And even you admit that you rarely talk to clients. Why is that? When I prepared them for their final journey, it's hard to ask for their opinion. So you style the deceased, too? Mostly. They still need to look good. After all, you only get a funeral once in your lifetime. So, what do you think? Do you like it? So he seems like a nice guy. Yes, you're talented. Years of practice. My clients are always satisfied. Well, at least the ones that can say so. Leopold P. Dolinsky, Modern Dances, handwritten signature on the first page. Jan Wasaki, 18 Sherman Street. A recently published book. Page f features a signature and an address. It's in the. Oh, there it is. To buy Lost jacquard note. vest with fresh flowers, pomade, to do shoes polish, frock coat clean. Mm. A jacquard vest, the fifth this or the fifth this month. Envious thoughts accompanied him the entire time he spent running errands, nesting in his head like mice, gnawing at his well-being. Why are some people born into apartments and others into huts?
Hmm, this one's all right. Uh... Hello. Indeed, fanciable. Up close, I would even say a solid eight, wouldn't you? Nice, I'm a solid eight, guys. I don't uh... know. We'll see when he turns around. <laughs> I haven't showered in three days. It is. Guys, I'm an eight from behind, too. Will you show us something more? I'm gonna strip for him. Hey, you like my body, dude. I'm gonna turn around. Eight it is. Will you show... Is he checking yeah, out his ass what two chats? ladies are doing? What everyone does, we're evaluating. I... Wow. A solid eight? You know, on a scale from one to ten, you look quite spiffy, sir. Why are you smoozing with some sucker who's already suited and booted for his own funeral? And you, lousy fop, got an itch and looking for some philandering at the marble orchard, are you? Six, five... Huh. Zero, there's nothing here for you. Mr. Eight got some you-know-what, so he caught our eye. And vice versa, I can tell. Get ready for some shellacking, lads. We got a dandy looking for some extra ventilation. And, as luck would have it, not too far from the orchard. Fight, either. fight, fight, Sir, fight. Evening to square. You have the unique opportunity of becoming a ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is f Holy fuck, they're just gonna fucking ventilate me? <laughs> Have you ever decided to be shot by three men at the same time? There's a hole in my chest, dear Liza, dear Liza. At least one of them doesn't have like a like a sawed off shotgun or something. Or a blunderbuss. <laughs> God. It's a little hand cannon. It is Russia, after all. Mm -hmm. Oof, he's gonna be a tank, then it's gonna be difficult to kill, because I can't remove his uh, shield. No, no, I'm just waiting for the uh, the one combat in this where you start hearing Latin chanting in the background. For you, when you know shit has just decided to become real. Yeah, I shoot better than you. But I put my gun away after every shot because, you know, sometimes I just want to slap a person in the face instead of shoot them. Polish persona. You're you're not wrong, Square. You're not wrong. I didn't use that arm anyway. Why do you keep shooting me in the same goddamn arm? I'm on the same spot, you dick. Well, that's why he shoots uh, with his uh, right arm, because he just gets shot in the left arm every single time. Well, he only, he, he's right-handed, so he's okay. Yeah, yeah. Left arm is like a quarter lead at this point anyways. Yeah, he's he's all right now, if you would. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that the first time. That, no. is, that is awful and amazing.
So how historically accurate is uh, is it uh, square? Evening, uh, Wraith Knights and Mr. Jiggles. We're getting all the people tonight. Ooh. Oh, what was it? I mean, Laughing Man, they probably already have. We'll have scurvy. So. Probably. Damn. Shove it. Hey. That's stupid yawns. You just let me tap on my iPad. Have you been signed up for the Marine Corps, Mr. Jiggle? Without your uh, authorization? Huh. Weird. No, that was a revolver. Also, why would they call your grandfather and not, you know, you? You a draft dodger boy? Yeah. You have the same name as uh, your grandfather, grandpappy, and your grandpappy. When you walk away, up. do it slowly. Yeah. We'll Ooh, see you again, won't we? Oh, there's a note on that barrel. Lone Wolf, read Ivy. How you doing, Marimper? Ivy Magazine. Responses from the editorial staff. Miss Sokolnika, we have included an extensive article about Angora rabbits in issue 22 and 23 titled The Wool of Angora Rabbits. There you will find hints on raising these animals. Seeing as you are a resident of the Pansnats Duchy, you will likely find it easier to import rabbits from Germany. Information on whom to purchase them will be provided to you by the editor of the magazine, uh, dear <laughs> Dr. F. Pope, Leipzig, Kaiser Wilhelm Strauss, 22, Miss H.W., the graying of the hair may be consequence of some hidden disease in the body, and we recommend that you consult with a specialist. Uh, as advised on the matter, uh, cannot be given by letter. W. Jane Skeet, The Trendy Dances, The Two-Step, and The Cakewalk, and The Boston Waltz, which are gaining popularity among our upper classes, are taught at the evenings by Jan Watskotki, a well-known Warsaw Ballet Master. Unfortunately, as of November, uh, he is no longer be offering this service, so if you wish to schedule a lesson, we recommend that you do not delay and contact him promptly. I hey. I did not listen to that because I was too busy f googling and finding out that there are rabbits that produce usable wool. Yeah, and hey, corn rabbits. Hey, hey, Lenny, can you teach me about the rabbits? <laughs> oh. Well, oh. I do have a revolver handy, so yes, I will tell you about the rabbits. Huh? That's such a sad ending to that novel. Yeah. Yes, sir? Please let me in. It's urgent. You can't just turn up like this. What will I tell sir and madam? Fear not. I'm here for Rasputin. I can sense he's in the drawing room. I think you can even use uh, poplar fuzz for spinning if you're crazy enough. Yeah. Pop a poplar in your mouth. Huh? Intriguing. It is a house, and there's a letter on the table. A pile of invitations to tea parties and dinners from Warsaw's notable personalities. The most recent one is from Countess Lermontowa. Let's go into all the rooms in the brothel and see what we can find. Yeah. Yeah, that seems like the 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 right uh, the right course of action, the right especially the ones that have cloth doorways. Those, those seem like 
those are the fun. ideal place. Also, 365 dinner recipes for 5 PLN. Uh, slice your bread, whole meal is best, thinly and dry it to a brown, then mash it into flour. Take 3 tablespoons of this bread flour, a glass of French wine, a cup of sugar, add 8 egg yolks into it, uh, uh, add clove, cinnamon, mashed vanilla, tab a tablespoon of clarified butter, and foam. Uh, mix together, pour into it, blah, blah, blah. Serves four to eight people. I think that's uh, 365 recipes for five, and that's the plan. Uh, yeah. Have you seen the uh, SEMA recipe? Who's Steve Jobs, huh? Exactly. Who's Steve Jobs? I thought you were going to say see my balls, huh? <laughs> oh no, I have much more snooping to do. I can't go in there. Coast Guard! Go you Coast Guard! Absolutely everything in the entire yeah. house. Who, Rasputin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mr. Oh, Shitsky, what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, various medications and tinctures in decorative bottles. Specifics pre prescribed by doctors and quacks. What the fuck is this girl's problem? I like how they're all standing around Rasputin as if they're doing an intervention at a whorehouse. <laughs> Victor, what brings you here? Snooping. Also phasing through a table. Gifted to Rasputin by the Nardzinskis, most likely as a suggestion that he might try to conceal his intense odor for the benefit of everyone. The gift was accepted, set aside, and never used. Ah, yes. The best sort of gift. The table weight. The paperweight. It was a shame how he carried on. A decorative fan made of marabou feathers. Anila's quivering words still waft over the fan, uttered either to her husband or herself, complaining about her failing health and psyche. The small gust of air didn't bring any relief. The Nardinskis are well situated, quite prosperous. They live in a comfortable life and have friends in high places. No wonder Rasputin has chosen them. Has chosen them. He seems to have won their favor by taking care of Anelia, who suffers from a nervous disorder. Is that him? In the flesh. Allow me to introduce you. My dear hostess, Aniela Narodzinska, and my dear friend, Viktor Shulsky. Shitsky. Your father had a beautiful funeral. Thank you. My dear, we finished for today. Now I'll find out what brings Viktor to us. What brings you here? But you were the one who phoned. Very funny. You look like you've made yourself at home. Are you going to be staying on here for long? No, I'm afraid not. They're kind people, but I've experienced another vision. Though not fully terrifying, it is troubling. Will you tell me about it? Later. What brings you to me? Why was she looking at me so oddly? What did you tell her about me? She's never seen a thaumaturge before. I only mentioned to her how we met. Can I help you at all? Have you known them long? No, but Aniela and Lucian are my two good souls. They took me, an impoverished preacher, in under their roof. And I'll never forget that. Are you helping them too? I am a bomb for Aniela's frazzled nerves. But enough of that. Tell me what you need. Actually, I don't feel great. Let's see what you brought with you this time. Close your eyes and focus on my words. 
concentrate on my voice. Relax and focus within yourself. Follow my voice inside yourself. Where is he? I don't see him, but I can sense. Pretty birdie. So that's how you want to play. That chirping of his is unbearable. Do you hear him? Good. That means you can locate him. Point him out to me. Focus on his song and show me where he's hiding. Have him. Yeah, I see it. Tamed two of them, uh. That definitely wasn't a glitch. I have two of them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. You look better. You slept a long time. Yes, it feels that way. Hey, your eyes aren't red as much anymore. Still 1905. Yet time flows on inexorably. No, I won't bother you. We can talk next time. The Narazinski door is always open to you. I don't feel like that's his place to say, but okay. Mm -hmm. Thoughtful development, huh? Mm. Mm. Sorry. That's all right. I'm kind of thinking the same thing a little bit. It's close to our usual time, I think. Yeah, I am about to uh, start winding down, actually. Okay, so. well, I'm going to spam the chat with all the standard messages and stuff. Okay. Good God, sabotage. Uh, Ooh, that's a lot. What are the other ones? Uh, They're alive. Oh, by the way, uh, chat. There was a podcast uh, that was dropped just a couple, just a few days ago. I'd give it a listen to you if I were you, because I enjoyed it. Um, hey, no. listen. Uh, hey, listen. Uh, hey, listen. Uh, hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. <laughs> All right. Cutscene. Hey, listen. Oh, that that's parquet. Or par parquet uh, flooring. That's awful. That, that flooring is awful. I hate that flooring. We're ending on 50 viewers. Uh, well done. Which is a pretty uh, well, I, I wish everyone out there in uh, internet land a wholesome weekend and a good good night's rest if it's night and a good day if it's just crack of dawn for you. Um, my name is Chris. I've been new and have been brought to you by the refreshing taste of diet opium. Uh. And I'm AK Lone Wolf, and I've been up here in the cold, so you don't have to be. And try new diet double opium. It has half the opium of traditional double opium, huh? And so it's just full opium? Shut up, huh? Hey, hey. South hey, Park no, I, is I, funny I, and revolutionary. I know marketing. I watch marketing. I, I, I have my eyes on you. Yeah. And he was... You all have a great weekend, and, uh, yeah. Happy Thanks Easter, care. if that is your particular observance mm -hmm. this this particular weekend. And to everyone in the nor Northern Hemisphere, it's almost spring. Time to start planting. Woo! And to everybody in the Northern Hemisphere, it's almost eclipse time. Time to sa have to sacrifice people to bring the sun back. Woo! 
Uh, hey, hey, a million people are going to Ni Niagara Falls. There will be sacrifices. We'll just push them all off and the sun will come back. Huh? Just just sticking a million people in Niagara Falls, there will be sacrifices unintentional, un unintentionally. Yeah. Oof. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, are we all gonna keep quit talking? Are we yeah, gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I'm, I'm clicked the stop streaming button now, which will make the thing go butter.